Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your queen, divine mother, goddess Yamaya, and I have another intuitive reading for you guys. I am your intuitive guide. I love, love, love all of my subscribers who are also my soul family. I love you so much. I genuinely do love you. I know there may be people who tell you different things just to get your subscription or keep them. I'm not here to try to entertain you to keep your subscription. Whenever you feel like we are no longer resonating please be sure to unsubscribe do not keep me if i am no longer serving you okay i love 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 my servitude that i have been blessed um, with the gift to be able to help you all heal as well as get clarification as well as have insight that you need to make your life better as well as to be careful okay um but other than that we are just going to begin starting on the elements for fire signs we're going to be doing aries leo and sagittarius so I am going to be getting started now. I would like to say that I hope that you all have been having a blessed and prosperous September 4th. It is one day closer in the United States for Labor Day or wherever you are. I hope that you've been enjoying yourself, taking care of yourself as well, loving on yourself and making sure that you've been doing those self affirmations, telling yourself how beautiful you are, you know, making sure that you are staying up with your health as well. Okay. I myself have been trying different regimens is to help myself to stay healthy especially with herbs um, I like to do natural remedies in order for me to heal myself and keep myself happy grounded and knowing that I am self healing as well as taking care of myself on a regular basis for my vitality but other than that somebody needed to hear that distant horizons and the near future not far away not too far away this is coming in soon you are to expect someone that is going to come into your life and change your life not for the worse but for the better i know that you have went through a really rough patch you are no longer looking for that anymore there's someone coming in or you are going towards someone who is going to make you very happy Concern. You may be very concerned about this situation just because you've had a lot of people who you have to watch out for and be careful for, but that is not the situation anymore. You could have been expecting this person to be a fake person, or you could have expected someone to, you know, um, be a criminal. They're not. Um, you're expecting someone who's a liar, a cheater, very deceitful, someone who is going to do something to hurt you as I keep getting, but this person is not. This person could have been in poverty or you could have been in poverty, which is why you have a hard time trusting people because you could be in a better position now. Your family has something to do with this situation. You come from a family that is, um, you know, definitely not well off, um, you know, they could also not like um, the law. They can have a hard time with that. You can be distrustful as well of people who um, are involved with the government. Thief. Your family could have stole from you in the past or someone in your community could have stole from you in your past. Um, yep, causing you not to be a wealthy man, which is the reason why you, yep, a main female, someone you were dating, they stole from you. And um, that caused you to shut down. Um, someone could have stole from you that actually lived in the same house as you. You shared the home with this woman and she went behind your back and stole from you. She could have stole some money from you out of your house that made you go bankrupt. It could have been while you were in prison. You were not there to be able to help and defend yourself. You were not around at the time in the household. You, She didn't end up getting any jail time as well behind this. Two cars fell out. I'm just going to take them both. Yep. You were in prison. So this woman, she was not worried about what you would do. In order for her to do this, she knew that she would be able to get away with it because you were not there to be able to protect your assets. She could have robbed you from your bank accounts or you could have had something with the house card coming out. You could have had money in your house. And this woman, she um, you could have had a safe, but she went inside of your house. Um, you could have had a jar of money. She went inside of your house and she stole from you. You were facing legal matters at the time. And this woman, she um, she was not someone to be trusted. You trusted her because you could have known her for a long time. Yeah, 
she was not someone that could be trusted you can have a lot of concern now because of this you don't trust anyone and there's someone who wants to come towards you but you feel like you've lost out on a lot you feel like all of the things that you have your luck and everything that you have is no longer there you're not able to be receptive of love at this time anyway is how you're feeling because you're facing too many legal matters You got a message of concern. The message of concern is definitely um, concerning um, when you were in jail, what this what this woman did. What she did was very immature. Although it's an older woman, it could have been someone who was um, working with their mother who um, has a very childish mother, or it could have been involved with your mother with a community car. But things are beginning to change. That is not how it's going to be any longer. Things are actually getting ready to take a turn for the better instead of the worse. Although you know that um, you've been through a lot, especially when it comes to you being poor. But there's going to be a change from that poverty, from you losing a lot and having to go through this thing. It's going to be short-lived, and that is because someone is coming towards you. And they are going to be an honest person. They're not a fake person. They're not a fraud. There's, some, there's going to be someone that you can trust. This person is they're going to give you insight about what happened in your house or this person is going to be someone that you actually end up living with yep you're going to get great fortune with this person that's coming towards you this person you can trust them you could possibly send them a letter or they're going to send you a letter a text message a phone call some form of communication letting you know that they want to see you be near you you guys could have dated but no longer are dating anymore this is someone you were with in your past. This is an ex for sure. This person does have the um, fortune. This is someone that is actually um, pretty well off, very abundant, really wealthy. You're not expecting this to happen, but it's going to happen. You guys are going to begin to date. You guys are going to come back together. You're going to be happy about this situation because this is someone that you actually really wanted to be with and wanted to spend time with. And, you know, you were reluctant about going towards them and starting this path. You you know you wanted to go, but there was something that was preventing you from going forward with this person and moving on with this person. You could you see the luggage there. You could have wanted to live with this person at some point or you could have thought about it and it didn't get to take place. Either because of you going to jail official person in reverse you're not able to be there because you're dealing with legal matters you weren't able to be in this person's life but you're going to be able to get another chance with this person and be able to move forward you could idolize having a child with this person or you could have a child with this person already but like i said this is someone from your past this is someone you're actually going to have a child with this person is not a privileged lady. She could have came from the same background as you. You guys both could have been in poverty at some point. She is no longer in that position anymore. When you send this person or they send you, I'm getting that you're going to send this person um, the information about what happened to you. They're going to be really shocked as well as saddened by the situation. When they find out, look, that you're no longer a wealthy man, this is going to sadden them. Yep. But... Um, this person this person isn't expecting anything from you. This person just um, pretty much loved you in the past and they want to be with you. This person is going to help your life. Yours, where yours messed up as she's going to fulfill those. Yeah. And you are going to receive money from this person. She's going to put you back on your feet or she's going to help you. You can expect this from this woman. She's definitely going to change your life. And for the better, you guys are going to probably end up getting married, a courthouse marriage, or she's going to be there for you. This woman does not work a nine to five. She has her own business. You could possibly not have um, a job, but you guys are getting ready to live together. Yep. Through this courtship, things are going to get ready to change and this poverty is going to end. Yep. You guys are both of high honor and you guys deserve this. You're going to definitely have a child together. And these people who did, who have done these things to you are going to experience bad health. The, the people who, yep, did something to this main male. 
Spirit is telling me to stop there. But that is what I have for you for my fire signs for Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Definitely an interesting read. But I hope that you all have a great, prosperous, and fulfilled day. Please do subscribe to my channel if this reading resonates with you, as well as be on the lookout for my up-to-date reads. I'm going to be doing something different today. We're going to be reading from this Rebel deck. I've never read from it, but I'm going to. Um, I just recently got it. I told you guys that I was getting some new cards, and I definitely did get them, and I love them. And what we're going to get out of these cards, you guys are not going to expect it, but it's going to spice up things a little bit. It's a little provocative in some way, so I hope that for anyone who, um, you know, um, does not like to hear vulgar talk, please don't watch this video because I don't want to upset you. Um, but other than that, be on the lookout for it if you just want to have a little bit of spice to your life. Okay. Okay, um, but other than that, I'll see you guys soon. And please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, as well as like this video if it resonates or if you like to just support this video. Um, I will be seeing you all soon. If I don't, please do have yourself a blessed and prosperous and on um, purposeful and joyful <laughs> Labor Day, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye.